Hello! Welcome back to this funny Pokemon Crystal ROM that I'm playing. Okay, so today we're gonna finish the tower and possibly go do clay. I don't know if we're gonna do clay in this video or not. But we are gonna finish the radio tower, that's for sure. Because I am gonna stop not playing this, because I need to finish playing it. Anyway, before we even get a minute in, I'm going to say please subscribe again already. Because why not? Probably a few reasons why not, but there we are. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing okay. And again, I've been fiddling with the sound. I mean, I say I'm fiddling with the sound fiddling with the audio mixer and I'm fiddling with my webcam. Can't decide where everything's going yet. Either way, don't really matter. As long as I'm enjoying and making videos for everyone, it doesn't really matter. Oh dear. So I was actually thinking, when I go and get this new Pokemon for my team, I might deposit Pinsir. Because as much as I like Pinsir, and as much as I like the evolution it's got in this, it's a royal pain in the rear end to train, as you've just seen. And I'm getting a little bored of Pinsir, to be honest. So, yes, I will go and catch a Wolfman. Uh, I might catch it in this video, actually, and then train it up afterwards. I don't know. I'll think about that one. So I'm thinking, this is part 10. Part 11 might be... I think this might be 12 parts overall. Because I think I might... Get up to Claire in this video. Do... Claire... And get through Victory Road in the next episode. And then do the League on the final episode which would be the 12th episode going on that logic so yeah 12 at least it's not an unlucky 13 I think Katora evolves next level by the way I think which is cool. You get to see another one of my favourite Pokemon. From this game. Excuse me, that was disgusting. Uh, Sneasel is... Dodrio fodder. Sneasel looks more like me and Fu, and it looks like it wants a hug. Definitely pleased they changed Sneasel's sprite. Sneasel does look cute in the beta. I don't know if I mentioned before, by the way, but Togepi's in the beta, but they never gave it its evolution. So, Togepi's a sort of standalone thing. Same with Snubble and Maril. So they must have planned for them to be done a lot later on. Which is kind of odd. Ooh. Scary. Not really. That's kind of cute to be fair. Kind of looks like Dragon Egg. <gasps> Yay! Love some para hacks. So I'm thinking I might get my switch from my mum and dad's so I can maybe do videos off that. Oh, it doesn't have all of So that'll add some variety to the games that I'm playing. Because I have all sorts of other stuff on there. Like I can play both Bayonettas on that. I can play Mario. 
I might stream Mario Kart actually at some point. I keep saying I might stream this, might stream that, might do the other. I never do. Because procrastination is fun. I should change my name to Procrastination55. Either way, yes, I'm still planning things. <laughs> and more subs means more wanting to do things. <laughs> yes. At some point I will shut up about subs. But at least I have a few people watching. I'm very grateful to the people that are watching. Thank you for existing. I like how Muck is one of the only Pokemon who's never really changed much. Like a lot of Pokemon have got subtle differences. Muck has basically stayed exactly the same from in every single game. It's just funny. Coughing. Speaking of coughing, I have a mug with Coffing's face in it that says coffee. I got it for Christmas from my friend Jay and I've only recently started using it. Why I haven't been using it, I don't know. But it's instantly my new favourite mug. So I will post a picture of that on Twitter later. And also on Facebook later. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook too where I continually never post unless I've made a video or I'm streaming. I need to be more active on all this stuff. I don't know why I'm not, to be honest. It's not like I don't have time. I have plenty of time. What I lack is the discipline. Yeah, word of advice, never sit cross-legged like this, playing a game. It's not fun. Let's uh, just send out Bell Boyan. Why not? Just confusion. To be fair, with these games, it's taking a lot of restraint to not use the speed up button, which is what I normally do. If I was using the speed button, I'd probably have done it in one video. <laughs> Which is bad. Very bad. But, um, yeah. Let's not go there, shall we? A terrible habit. Oopsie doopsie. I wonder what this basement was actually going to be, because it was obviously something before Team Rocket took it over and started using it as a hideout. So it makes me wonder what it was going to actually be. Just 
keep surfing everything. Anchor Age has no, another evolution, I've completely forgotten what it's called. It's this great big black eel thing. I mean, we'll see it soon, maybe. We'll see it in one of these videos, anyway. But it's, it's strong. Weird looking, but strong. I mean, it also learns surf, so... Don't need to waste a slot using HM slaves. Which is always handy. Because I can get rid of Scary Face for Waterfall if it learns it. I've just realised I keep placing my cup next to the microphone. So it's making a very loud donk noise on the table. Apologies. I thought that was quiet. It was on the other table. Mercy? None. This is an Undertale. You don't get any mercy. I'm thinking if I do start playing things on my Switch though, what I'm gonna do, I realise I keep going off on tangents, sorry. But no, what I'll do is I'll make a new account rather than use the old account that I've been using to play my games. Because that way then I can start things from the start. And play them fresh. Things like Undertale and whatnot. If I do play Undertale, I don't know. Still on the fence about that one. A nice idea in theory, but I'm not entirely convinced in practice it would be a good idea. But we'll see. We'll see. I think I might need to get new Joy Cons though, because I think my left one or my right one drifts really badly. So I'm going to have to replace that. Joy. For things called Joy-Cons, they don't really spark much joy, do they? <laughs> I'm thinking what I might do, I might just get myself the um, Skyward Sword ones that are coming out. Because I need new Joy-Cons and I really like the blue. I also really like Zelda. Which is something that I've not played on here. I might play something Zelda next, actually. It's not a bad idea. Actually, I tell a lie. I did play a Zelda game on the 14th of March, and I've not uploaded it. So I might cut it down a bit, or I might just upload the whole thing. Hmm. I might upload the whole video, blah, 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 whole video for that. I think it might be in two parts as well. Or is it all one? No, I think it's all one. I did it all in one, uh, one take. It took me about 16 hours, I think it was. Was it longer? It might have been a bit longer. Oh no, it did crash halfway through, yeah. The internet crashed. Love it when the internet cuts out like that. Steal. At least I did it. It's one of the things that I've always wanted to do. Finish the game from start to finish. Not a speedrun or anything, but just all in one day, just finish it. And I actually did. So 
So that was an achievement personally. Yeah, I don't know if I'll shorten that video down or just upload the whole thing all as one. It's not much fun for everyone to watch all in one. But it's not really there to be watched all in one. It's there if you want to pick and choose which parts you look at it. Or you can skip through it and see what's what, really. I mean, it's no issue, really. Jump kick, infinitely better than triple kick. Although it's probably going to miss a bajillion times and hit the wall or something. Keep going and crashing, that's the one. I completely forgot Bellboy, it's only 33. <laughs> Oops! Taken off of our team rocket. Imagine if that TM was still the fire attack it is. Fairly sure it's usually flamethrower, isn't it? Be well cool if it was. Do a quick heal. A quack heal. <laughs> quack. in preparation. That's a lot of peas. Make a joke about stop peeing. Ha ha. Nobody laughed at that one. Inserted the card key. Eh? Wow. Why did the shutter open? Hmm. <laughs> No wonder Team Rocket loses. A bit thick. Oh yeah. Whoops. Oh, that was lucky. I've done a bit of a brain fart. I've forgotten what type Bell Boyant is. I know it's dark. Dark what? 
just dog. Fair enough. I found a dark psychic or dark normal for some reason. Turns out, no it's not. Uh, do I fight you? Yeah, fuck it. I mean, yeah, fudge it. I said fudge. Fork. I didn't swear. It's a snicky snick. It is no longer a snicky snick. No, I don't want to switch. It's another snicky snick. The snicky snick Pokemon used to slightly scare me. The snicky snick Pokemon no longer scares me. Excuse me while I just mess with my nose for a second. New place. Same old nose problems. I reckon it might be the time of the year. Pollen and things have started flying around again. Which sucks because I love flowers. It's typical. One of the things that I love irritate me. Not surprising. single wall trying to run up. You're not taking another step, do you wanna bet? Uh, you've only got a gold bat. You've got a one way trip to Oh No Town. I love how this one Team Rocket executive is not going to Oh No Town, oh dear. This one Team Rocket executive is main Pokemon is stronger than the main executive, whose Houndoom is only level 35. Totally not mashing the keyboard, by the way. I don't mash keyboards. I do. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Oops. I mean, if you didn't mash keyboards, or you said you've never mashed a keyboard in your life, you're probably lying. Everyone's mashed a keyboard at some point. Sometimes I mash the keyboard out of frustration. <laughs> Again, who doesn't? So when I started recording this video, I accidentally clicked start streaming, had a mini panic, and didn't record for like five minutes afterwards. Because <laughs> I thought, oh god, have I just started streaming? <laughs> I hadn't, luckily enough. Though I don't think it would have been a problem if I'd streamed this instead. Might have been a bit... random. Random Pokemon Crystal stream out of nowhere. Especially when it's not the crystal that I have been streaming. But, yeah. 
I need to finish that as well. I've got a lot of unfinished games. There's a Pokemon White randomizer I started doing as well. But I might not. I might just remove that one. For now. I don't know. Merc. Oh, actually, you can stay out. Because I really like that witchy design for Murkrow. Bring back witchy Murkrow. Yeah, I know my secret weapon against Houndor and Houndoom now. Teehee. Magnitude. Wow. Oops, casually attack my mother. Stop sitting with my back hunched after this. Not not very healthy. Yes. What? Watch this survive now and explode and destroy my Kator. Just to annoy me. Maybe not survive. That's a big magnitude. Oh, it did. Uh oh. Nervous. <laughs> I don't know why Katora can learn Magnitude, by the way. I'm fairly sure it can learn Earthquake as well. So uh, strange. I like the ball aesthetic of Pokemon as well, though. Ball-shaped Pokemon. They're just satisfyingly round. Like Sphiel and Voltorb. Just satisfying. We still need this ball tiger. Ugh, didn't miss once. Ow. They yank my headphones off my head. I'm not a mess, I promise. Well, that was easy. Easier than I thought. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, Rytora, that's his name. I can never remember its evolution's name. Au revoir. Clear bell. Wow. Yeah, I like the idea in Crystal as well, where you have to catch the three dogs, or cats, or beasts, or whatever you want to call them. I think they're three dogs, to be honest. Um, well, not actually. Riku is very cat-like. I don't know. I'm still up for debate on this one. But Entei, Riku, and Suicune. I like the fact that you had to catch all three before you could get Ho-Oh. But it also sort of gave you, in a sense, a free Ho-Oh without having to go and get an item. So, that's cool. That's the kind of thing that Pokemon's missing nowadays again, you know? Good old hidden side quests and stuff. Nowadays it gives you everything on a plate. Tells you exactly how to do stuff. 
walks you through it, holds your hand. I miss when Pokemon didn't hold your hand. And I'm not saying it's bad that it does that now. It's kind of useful, especially in a world where everyone speedruns and wants to finish things as soon as they possibly can. Ooh. But, I don't know. I do miss the hard element of Pokemon. I'm just avoiding all the trainers right now because I'm going to catch a Wolfman. And there he is. Sorry, got caught in a minute. Got caught doing something there for a second. Yes, anyway. Things from the past, one might say. Anyway, not important. Um, yeah, we're going to catch a wolf, man. Or actually... Should I cheat? I'm fairly sure you can find the evolution here. Okay, I'll try and weaken it. If it faints, I'll see if I can... Oh, never mind, it's going to endure. Ignore everything I said. Oh, I didn't even kill it. Oh. Still isn't going to kill it. Defeat it. I still say kill. I don't mean kill. You can't kill a Pokemon. If you don't do that, I might just uh, throw a great ball at you instead. So what I'll do, I will hit Blackthorn in this video, hopefully. And I will end the, st the, the stream end the video there. Um. Yeah. This puzzle, when I was a kid, used to confuse the hell out of me. As it did with the rest of the population, apparently. I had no idea I wasn't the only person that was thick. <laughs> Not that I'm saying anyone's thick, but I don't know. Because there's a lot of people as well that are saying, oh, I always knew how to get it. And I'm thinking, well, I'm not stupid, but it was pretty hard for a seven-year-old to understand how to do that. I'd get lost on the ice for ages. And this as well, this used to confuse me as a kid. Oh dear, what's going to up here? It is another wolfman. So this might end up being about 40 minutes, this video. Because um, I'm not going to quite finish this quickly. Decided to kill itself. Clever. Oh. The boulder fell through. Is that what it did? You know, I've been in a sort of bitchy mood all day and I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Anyone else ever just get in a randomly bitchy mood for no reason? Or is it just me? Disarray and that away and fall through the hole. Ha 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 it fell through. Follow through. Please do not follow through. Now I'm sure I discovered another way of doing this the other day. Oh yeah. That is Ditto's evolution. Called likewise. It's incredibly fast and incredibly annoying. I'm fairly sure it appears in the Elite Four, in Victory Road, and it gets on every single one of my nerves. Because 
they're a high level and they don't let you run away. And they don't particularly give any good um, experience either. Which isn't fun. This is the quickest I've ever done this cave, by the way. And it is about 35-40 minutes. Just don't appear shiny because I'll be slightly obliged to catch it. Oh yeah, and when you catch a likewise, I'm fairly sure it turns back into a ditto. For whatever reason. Whoopsie. But then it evolves next level. Which, again, is strange. And we've made it to Blackthorn City. Okie dokie then. Well, I am going to save after healing right here. And I'm going to try, fingers crossed, I'm not sure what's happening tomorrow, but I'm going to try my absolute best to do Claire and the Victory Road bits to the game uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, which will be the 12th of May. Okie dokies. Well, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. You don't have to ring the bell. You don't even have to like the video if you don't want to. Just subscribe. <laughs> and I will try my best to think of some more different content to play on the channel. Anyway, again, thank you all for watching. I will see you all soon. Ciao!